folks what's up today okay I'm gonna teach you how to stop saying I don't know how are you I'm fine thank you yes no okay so without further ado let's dive in <laughs> with I don't know. Okay, instead of saying I don't know all the time, you can use other ways to improve your English and sound more fluent and authentic. I give you an example. If you ask someone in the street, oh excuse me, can you tell me where the post office is? The person answers, I have no idea. I have no idea. Or she can answer, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Okay. Now let's take the question, how are you? How are you? Okay. Instead of saying this question, you can say, how are things? How are things? You can also say, how have you been? How have you been? The third solution. What's up? What's up? Okay. You can say, how is it going? How is it going? And the last solution is, are you all right? Are you all right? So then, what about the answer? Of course, you can say, I'm fine, thank you. It's okay, you can say it. But you can also say, I'm great, thank you. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm very well. I'm very well. You can also say, I'm good. I'm good. Or you can say, I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay, now instead of saying yes all the time, you can use the expression, of course. I'll give you an example. Do you like your mother? Of course I do. Of course I do. You can also say, sure, sure. You can say, why not, why not? Or you can use, no problem, no problem. You can also say, you bet, you bet. And you can say, um, I'd love that. I'd love that. Example. Um, would you like to go to the restroom with me? Oh, you bet. Or, I'd love that. Okay? Now, when you agree with an offer or uh, when you agree with someone, you can use uh, three solutions. You can use totally, definitely, or you can use absolutely. Okay, so three solutions. I repeat, totally, definitely, absolutely. And then for no, instead of saying no all the time, you can answer, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. You can also use, of course not. Of course not. Example, uh, when you really don't want this, you can say, no way. No way. Okay. Um, I give you an example. Um, do you like apples? Oh, not really. Not really. 
Uh, do you prefer pears? Definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope this video was interesting. Alors, comme vous le voyez, il y a énormément de façons euh, d'exprimer euh, toutes ces choses en anglais. Donc, n'hésitez pas à revoir cette vidéo, à tout noter sur votre petit cahier. Je vous donne toujours ce conseil, c'est extrêmement important pour varier son vocabulaire, pour l'enrichir. N'oubliez pas que si vous n'êtes pas abonné à ma chaîne YouTube, eh bien, vous pouvez cliquer euh, en bas à droite, n'hésitez pas. Actionnez également la petite cloche qui vous donnera des notifications quand mes vidéos sortiront. Et puis surtout, n'hésitez pas à me laisser des commentaires pour que je puisse enrichir mes vidéos. Et n'hésitez pas à donner votre opinion. So that's it for today. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Goodbye.